get slapped if you look in hell. I said, excuse me, you're a hell of a guy. I mean, mama, 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 you're like pelican fly. I mean, I'm gonna slap you in town. Yes, I'm a town because I'm close and you know it is. So just say it. Hi everybody, so today's video is going to be on this really pretty warm eyeshadow look using the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Palette and one of the new Steel Out Magnificent Metals liquid eyeshadows. So to start off my face today, I'm just priming it using the Smashbox Blemish Control Primer and then I'm going to go in with the Secret Key Tattoo Cover Cushion Foundation and I've been obsessed with using this foundation lately. It just gives such a nice full coverage and a really beautiful dewy finish. I've been absolutely loving it. So for any areas where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, I've been really liking to use the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This one was a little bit too dark to use under my eyes, so I decided to use it this way instead and I've been really liking it. And then for concealer under my eyes, I'm going to be using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And oh my god, this stuff is so good. I'm so happy that I bought it because it's just so nice and creamy. Trust me, it's amazing. To set under my eyes today, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and always before I go in to powder my concealer, I just go over it again with the blending sponge just to make sure I'm getting rid of any of the creases that might have happened in between doing my other eye. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Hourglass Diffuse Light Powder which is still one of my favourite setting powders of all time. So next up I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Powder Foundation in Light Neutral and this is actually a tip I got from Desi Perkins. So over my cheeks is where I get quite a bit of my scarring so I just go in with a powder that's slightly darker so that I'm giving a little bit extra coverage on the areas that I would naturally brighten anyway. And then of course I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is our little baby girl Cora, we just got her and she is so sweet and affectionate and we are in love! For my brows, I'm using Benefit Gimme Brow and Precisely My Brow Pencil and I've been really loving really feathery brows lately so I've been really brushing them upwards and I've been loving this pencil, I don't know, it just gives such a beautiful natural brow, I've been really feeling that lately. Like obviously not too natural because my natural brows are really quite sparse but I do like to just keep them a little bit more fluffy. So this whole eyeshadow look is using the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy palette and I'm just taking that first warm brown shade just lightly through my crease and then I'm going to be going in with the shade next to it and focusing that on the outer corner and slightly into the crease also. I was going to do a first impression video on this palette but it has been like a hundred years since it came out so I didn't think it was really relevant anymore and I just thought I would use it in a tutorial instead. So I'm taking that really beautiful burgundy colour and focusing that on my outer corner and it's super pretty. So I'm taking that brown again and running it through the crease and then I'm going to take a clean blending brush just to kind of blend out the edges and make sure everything's looking nice and soft. And I like to do this quite a few throughout the makeup look just so I don't have to do a whole bunch of blending at the end. So I'm taking some Fix Plus and that really beautiful shimmery gold shade on just a flat shadow brush and I'm just running that almost over the whole eyelid but leaving out a bit towards the outer corner. And then I'm taking an angled eyeshadow brush and really laying on that burgundy colour and then I'm going to blend it out afterwards just with that first brush that we used. So 
So I'm taking a mixture of those first two colours that we used on a clean brush and I'm just running that over my whole crease and then again taking that clean brush and trying to soften out the edges. And then I'm taking that first highlighting shade but I found that this didn't really brighten up my eyes at all. So I ended up going in with Call Me by Chi Chi just to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. Now this is the fun part, so I'm taking the Stila Magnificent Metal Eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold Retro and I'm laying that a little bit on the centre of the lid and then I'm actually taking a clean cotton bud and just blending that out, just softening around the edges because I didn't want the glitter to be too harsh, I kind of wanted it to be really soft. Then I'm taking those first two colours that we used on a pencil brush and just smoking out that lower lash line and making sure to connect it to the upper corner. And then I am blending it out and then I'm taking a flesh toned eyeliner and just running that through my waterline. Isn't it crazy what a difference curling your lashes does? I can't believe it. And then I am taking Roller Lash by Benefit and this has become my new favourite mascara in the whole wide world. It makes my eyelashes so curled and voluminous and long and beautiful and it's amazing. And then I am taking the Flirt Half Lashes by EXO Beauty and just popping those on off camera. To bronze up my skin I'm using Hula by Benefit and I'm just taking that on my cheekbones, my forehead and a little bit on my nose and then I'm going to be using Cotton Candy Cream by Kylie Cosmetics to highlight and oh my god this is so beautiful I'm so happy that I bought this. It's a really subtle natural like glow from within. taking Benefit's new blush California and this is so amazing it's such a beautiful pinky peach with a touch of shimmer to it and it smells like coconuts too which is kind of crazy but it's so so nice Now I think this might actually be discontinued which is a little bit annoying but this is Skimpy by Colourpop and it was slightly too light for me so I just added a little bit of Saw by MAC just to the outsides of my lips and just to the actual lip line and it looked really pretty. I'm then taking a little bit more of Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and then that is the look done. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and feel free to subscribe if you like and I will talk to you in my next one. Cause I've been coming down